Hello out there casual fanatics, Jeremy here, and welcome back to episode 5 of Casual Mode Plays Pokemon Academy Live. In the past episode, we got sorted into our homeroom, met all kinds of colorful characters, found the name of the lady who saved our butts a couple episodes back, and also met uh, Whitney and Flannery, the uh, very fiery Flannery who doesn't like mornings, and the very flashy Whitney. So, in this episode, um, our homeroom has uh, ended. We're about to go into our ghost type class. So, let's roll. Whoa, this classroom is also way bigger than anything we had in Pallet Town. Ladies and gentlemen, who will be our teacher for Defense Against the Dark or uh, uh, Defense Against the Dark type arts? I mean, ghost class. So this is what a privately funded classroom looks like. I wonder if I can find some people I know in here. As I look around, I see Trevor sitting dead center up front. Hey Trevor! Hey Mewtwo! I'd almost forgotten you were taking this class. Won't you take a seat? Don't mind if I do. Well sure, my students. How is everybody? Fantina. I'm kind of a weird case. I love Fantina. Of course, part of that has to go with my times back in Pokemon RP when there was this very wonderful person who played Fantina as a uh, as a uh, transvestite man. But uh, that's only part of the reason. I just even before then, I freaking loved Fantina. That accent. She's not from around here, is she? I am F <laughs> Instructor Fantina. I am Fantina, and I am your teacher for ghost class. I I apologize to anyone out there who's actually French or of French ancestry. I'm going to botch this accent so hard. Like you, I am new to this school. I'm also new to country, so I hope to learn alongside you as the year goes by. That was almost Eastern European. That was nowhere near French. I came to con I came to country because I have heard about its Pokemon and unique content. And that was almost African. Fuck me. I'm all over the place. And much to my delight, I I can't speak French. C'était très magnifique. They're unlike anything I have seen. It is amazing how many things you've not experienced and might experience in the world, no? C'est la vie, but you're all still so young. You must not yet realize how big the world truly is. Tell me about it. I wouldn't know how I'd turn out if I spent my entire life cooped up in Pallet Town. Probably a Trump voter. Ooh, pardon. I did not mean to make Mood sad, but the fragility of humanity is quite interesting, no? Oui, je know. Your name? My name is Trevor. I've read somewhere that the spirits of deceased ho humans are sometimes born as Yamask or Driftloon. Is there any scientific basis for these assumptions? Trevor? Bon. Oui. It is accepted among many ghost experts and scientists that human spirits are linked to the birth of some Pokemon, like Yamask and Driftloon. There he is? Well, of course. There are, there are many cases of Yamask reacting to objects and images that relate to their former human selves. This supports theory that men retain memories of themselves when they were still human. Enfin, I have seen in cases where Yamask even possess the body of a human to live their lives as humans again. I always thought those were delusions of grandeur. I had no idea this was actually supported by the scientific community. No, no. Almost all Pokemon researchers re recognize this as fact. It is only possible explanation for their behavior, Apparatu. I'm not sure if I should be fascinated or I should feel sad for lost souls like Yamask. Who knew that Pokemon's and humans were so closely related on a spiritual level. Whoops, drop my pencil. Ah 
Oh, there's my girl. There's my girl. Uh, who, who? Clearly my brain's trying to play tricks on me, but my eyes are telling me this girl's levitating a pencil. Is there a rogue ghost Pokemon in this room? Is she kind of Esper or something? You're from Kanto and you don't know who this girl is? You dropped it. You dropped this. Oh, oh, that's my... My pencil. Well, do you want it back or not? Yes, uh, sorry, thank you, um... What? I, um, didn't catch your name. Sabrina. There we go. My girl. My girl from Gen 1. You know, e I know this is going to freak some of y'all out, but back in the day when the Pokemon anime started, I actually had a crush on the original Sabrina. And I actually got mad later on when, in the video game, Sabrina kind of quote-unquote came out of her shell. But then I realized... It's probably... It probably was better for her that she didn't stay the Dark and Brooding. And then I grew to like her on the whole as a character when she evolved. So I still like the Dark and Brooding Sabrina. And I like and I love the fact that she didn't stay dark and brooding and cynical. Thanks, Sabrina. I'm Mewtwo. Which you should have known because you're psychic. Um, how long have you been practicing magic tricks? Right. Well, I'll just, uh, turn back this way. I was about to jump out of my chest. I felt like my life was in danger just by talking to her. You are literally the embodiment of psychic power. Now, continuing with our lecture, I require a volunteer to become human spirit for the class. Je <laughs> place ça? A joke? I cannot speak French and probably but butchering pronunciations left and right. Again, I cannot apologize enough. Stop. I don't think I can handle any more of this. Oh, heavens. What is this? Look at the time. Au revoir, students. We sent to check the syllabus for required readings. That took a little, a little longer than expected. It is the first class, though, so we'll probably stop feeling like that once we get into a groove. Next is... Gym class? Weird. I don't remember getting any gym uniforms in the mail or anything. Maybe it's one of those battle simulation things? So this is the gymnasium. I wonder if it's an official gym sanctioned by the Pokemon League. Most likely not. There hasn't been any mention of something like this on the brochure, and it's on school property. I think it's safe to assume it's simply another fancy room for on the Academy's collection. Though, other than some old panners lining the walls, wow. I know y'all can't hear it, but the sound is like really, really loud in my ears. Although, other than some banners lining the walls, the pl this place is barren compared to the others. However, if it is really like this in the official gyms, then that means Pokemon battles might take place here. Tierno, Trevor, Callum, and Shauna are on the side talking excitedly about something. Well, at least I think they are, but Trevor and Callum look like they're just listening to Tierno and Shauna babble on. Close to them are Leaf and May. I can't hear what they're talking about, but they sure look like they're having fun. With all them together like that, they certainly make the room seem a lot lighter. Ooh, Skyla, Gardenia, and my girl. Speaking of fun and liveliness, this is a huge class. I'm pleased they can recognize a few faces now. On the other side, I see a little Malola leaning back against his seat. It's kind of weird seeing him sit alone like that. I think a guy like that would try to surround him with as many people as possible by now. I refuse to end up like him over here. I'm going to go over and sit by Tierno and the others. 
Ah, Alder and... Oh, God. This guy's name is... I want to say... Bruno. Alright, settle down. Are these guys are teachers? The guy on the left certainly looks like one. The guy on the... But the other guy looks like one of those mountain hermits you hear about on TV. Welcome to gym class. Welcome to gym class. I'm Alder, and he's Bruno. I was right, it's Bruno. We'll be your instructors for this year. I bet you're wondering what you'll all be doing in this class. Well, it'll be like the other gym classes you're probably taking in your other schools. So if we're not going to make you change into shorts and play sports, in this school we focus more on training Pokemon, not your bodies. But training your body is important too. <laughs> Anyway, the real reason why this school has a gym class like this is to prepare you kids for the real Pokemon gyms after you graduate. At least for those interested in tackling the league. Can any of you tell me why gyms exist in the first place? Gyms were created to weed out the skilled trainers from the mediocre trainers. If we didn't have gyms, there'd be thousands of buffoons roaming around doing whatever they please. Or at least... Or perhaps at least limit the number of people that think they'd make good Pokemon trainers. S Jaren, Serena, Hilda. Unfortunately, I don't think GMs stop anyone from doing that. That's dumb. As far as I know, GMs are just a pain in the ass. Uh-uh. Do you even know how bench press equipment costs? You need to use that thing for a decade before it starts paying for itself. I'm talking about Pokemon gyms, you idiot! Right, very good guesses. But the main purpose of a Pokemon gym is to allow trainers who are less experienced to test their skills against more experienced ones on even footing. By the way, I don't watch the Pokemon anime anymore, so if the voices I'm giving don't match the voice that you're used to for these characters... Tough shit. And that is what we're do gonna be doing in this class. Wait, you're telling us we're going to be Pokemon battling in this class? Exa precisely. No, we won't be diving into that right away. First, we need to review the basics. You're also busy trying to learn new things, and sometimes you forget the most rudimentary skills. What, are you going to teach us how to catch Pokemon or something? Yes, it's a very important part of the curriculum. Sheesh. Even if some of you think you have everything you need to know about Pokemon battling, trust me when I say you don't. We've been in this field a lot longer than you have, and even we still don't have it down perfectly. <laughs> I reflexively glance over at Blue. As I expected, he seems a bit irked by what Alder just said. Hope he doesn't make a scene like he did in Homeroom. <laughs> oh, excuse me for rambling on like that. Uh, Bruno, why don't you tell him more about this class? Very well. This gym was first and foremost designed to be a training ground for students. And as such, it is available for free use after class hours. Just bring your student ID, and you will receive unlimited access to its facilities. In addition to the exercise machines available, the gym also contains several battle simulators to allow students to experience what a live Pokemon match would feel like in real time. So, you're saying... So, excuse me, so you're saying there won't be any live Pokemon matches here? Live matches? You can hold battles in here if you wish, but most take place in the battle hall. Unfortunately, unless you're on the school's competitive battling team, you will not be allowed to access it. Battle team? <laughs> that sounds like something up Blue's Alley. What's a battle team about? Our school is a competitive battling team for students who wish to take their Pokemon training to the next level. It's a very selective club, so don't think about signing up so quickly. Oh yeah? What's it take to get in there? Even after you've joined, mock battles between club members take place daily to determine whether or not you're fit to remain on the team. Ha! <laughs> That's easy! Be careful of what you say. Arrogant. Be careful of what you say. Arrogance and strength do not go hand in hand. I'm telling you, it'll be a piece of cake. Who's in charge of the team? I am. I am! Wait, haven't I seen this guy on TV before? I can't remember exactly where, but just by looking at him, I'm sure anyone can tell this guy is really important. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you a lance. Blue should watch his tone of voice around him. 
Being accepted to the battle team is one of the highest honors a student can receive in this school. It is not to be taken lightly. Lads, how long have you been standing there? I was just passing by. It's been a while, Bruno. Alder? <laughs> it has indeed. Oh, where are my manners? Students, this is Lance, the advisor of the battle team. Pleased to meet you all. So these are the new students that came in? They look quite capable. I expect great things from all of you. When I was a freshman at this school, I... Hey, you're the guy running the battle team? Yes, and you should heed the advice of Alder and Bruno. For someone currently at your level, it'd be impossible to get at. What? Did you say? Oh boy, here we go. Just because you're an upperclassman doesn't mean you can look down on me. I am not an upperclassman, nor am I looking down on you. I am simply stating the facts. Anyway, I'm in a hurry. You're holding a ceremony out in the garden, and I don't want to miss it. <laughs> Alright. It was good seeing you again, Lance. Likewise. Take care, Aldo. Bruno. Okay, really just gonna walk out without saying anything else? I glance at him again. I know how seriously Alon Malola takes his pride, so that must have done a number on him. He has to learn to take it easy one of these days. You heard him. The battle team is serious business. After all, it wasn't luck that our school has produced the most world champions, elite four members, and holds the most records the record for the most wins at the national tournament. The students on the battle team get to compete in the national tournament? Uh, that's right. The top students represent Kobukon Academy and face off with students from other schools during the Pokemon League season. I'd frame from stage fright if I had to do something like that in front of all those people. Bianca. You do know that you have to get on the team first to even consider doing something like that, right? But anyway, you shouldn't worry about things like that. There are much more important things to take care of after all. Like graduating on time. <laughs> I suppose we can move on to the weight machines. Bruno, would you mind giving the students a little demo? Not at all. After about 30 minutes of watching Bruno go through every machine without breaking a sweat, I realized that maybe I should look after my body a bit more. I haven't really been taking the greatest care of my body, but seeing how much stuff there is in the gym makes me think that now would be a good time to start. Winchester Chime. Okay, that's enough for one student. For one day, students. Next class, we'll talk about the basics of Pokemon battling and how to deal with Pokemon in the wild. It'll be review, but don't underestimate the intricacies of the basics. Right. Well, so long then, students. Enjoy the rest of your day. Next on my schedule is lunch. Once gym class starts getting serious, I really appreciate having the chance to fill up on food after some physical activity. We all somehow managed to get a table with enough seats to fit us. Well, more like we forced it to fit us. The majority of tables weren't designed to seat more than four or five people at a time, and we have seven. It's not a whole lot of leg and arm room left. Most of us don't have a problem with that, but... Hey, can you not shove your elbow in my face? You're gonna give me a black eye! She's been complaining since the moment we sat down. Can't you keep your arms under the table? Yeah, but then I can't reach the food above the table. Some sacrifices have to be made for the consideration of others. Then can you please tie your hair up or something? It's been all up in my face and half the time I can't see a damn thing. <laughs> I can't help it if the table's too small. No one can help it. Unfortunately, there are no more tables in the left in the cafeteria that can provide enough space for us. <sighs> I guess that's true. <laughs> anyway... Have you guys tried the Basculin Tartar yet? It's remarkably tasty! Oh yeah, can I get some of that? Damn, this is some good ass fish! Right! I never really liked fancy food before, but it's delicious! Yo, let me have some! Me too! Me too! Tierno and Sharp Shauna look like a pair of Sharpedos with the way they're orbiting around me. Don't they realize the cafeteria is a self-serve buffet? 
You do know that the seafood ser station is serving them all day today, right? There's no need to take them off a maze plate. I know, but the line's crazy long right now. Why wait ten minutes to get my own when there's some... Right? Hey, Brendan, what the hell are you doing? Oh, sorry, I couldn't help myself. <coughs> wow, that masculine is something else. You have no idea. Obviously, you ate all that. <laughs> I'll get you for this. My masculine, no! I'm telling you, you can get your own at the seafood station. Huh, Brandon, you got crumbs on your cheek. Really? Where? Here, let me get it for you. Oh, May. He's not in front of everyone. And stop eating like a Neanderthal. May is vigorously rubbing her hand out oh, for a minute. I thought she was going to like do a playful kiss here. Is vigorously rubbing her handkerchief on Brandon's face like a doting mother. I can't say I'm surprised they're flaunting their affection for one another. I thought I would get used to seeing this kind of thing by now, but I can feel my face lighting up like a vault orb. You guys like that stuff? Huh? Yeah, kind of. Why? Don't you like fish? Nah, those things always kind of rub me the wrong way. Anything related to the ocean gives me the creeps. Really? I had no idea. I had a friend like that. Every time you got close to the pool or beach, you would just start screaming his ass off. Spooky, right? I mean, I don't scream, but I do feel a bit sick looking at stuff like that. I figured I'd get a little blue Lucy looking at the packets of blood in the Pokemon Center sometime. Okay, hold on. You know, I know Pokemon Centers are a trained medical facility, but yeah, th this is literally the first time we've heard of anything like this. Yeah, same. Like, I'm gonna break down and start crying uncontrollably. Uh, that's not exactly how I feel, but okay. What about Mewtwo? You, Mewtwo. But you're not afraid of anything. Dark types. Lots and lots of dark types. Me? Really? Yeah, I'm curious to hear your thoughts as well. For conversational purposes, of course. Hmm, let me think. Okay, so, oh wow, we have a five-way choice here, so I'm going to be using the d20 for this. Um, one to four, five to eight, nine to twelve, thirteen to sixteen, seventeen to twenty. Although, just personally, it's this one. And I rolled it off the desk. <laughs> Eight, so... One of my biggest fear fears is if I end up leaving this world without getting to accomplish my goals. I feel like my life was a completely wasted effort. I understand what you mean. There's also a fear that has passed by through my mind on more than one occasion. The prospect of passing away with a regret as heavy as that is quite frightening. Hey, we're only teenagers. We still have like a hundred years to live. Um, in the words of Pink Floyd, it's actually uh, 80 years with luck, or even less. A hundred? Scary stuff like that can wait until we're adults. Let's enjoy life while we can. And that's what you believe. I cannot argue. There's not one correct way to live by, after all. Running theme of X and Y, by the way. At least in my... At least in my thought. On the subject of fears, is anyone a little scared for the school year? Nah, this school year's gonna be great. What do you ask? Honestly, I'm worried about whether or not I'll be able to graduate. Did your homeroom teachers tell you the graduation rate of the school yet? Yes, I believe our teacher said something like one out of ten seniors graduate every year. One out of... ten? Wait, are you serious? Tiano, you know, we are in the same homeroom. Were you listening to music in class again? I... but I didn't... the... Uh, Really? 10%? That is what Professor Birch said, yes. But don't worry. I'm sure everyone here will be able to graduate without any trouble. I'm not trying to play devil's advocate here, but what makes you so sure? There's a lot of people here that seem a lot smarter than us. Perhaps this is a little immature, but I, I have a gut feeling about it. You can call it a sort of instinct. Hey, you don't question Trevor about this kind of stuff. This guy see sees talent like a color, I swear. What does that even mean? 
Speaking of talent, have you decided what clubs you want to join? Well, sign-ups for the club fair start next week, right? Holy crap, that soon? Damn, I didn't even think I took time to look at the club, club brochure yet. Sometimes I surprise myself on how unprepared I am when it comes to school. I was the same way when I was a kid. Yeah, sign-ups last for a couple of weeks after that, but May and I decided on joining the club really early. Oh, let me guess. Is it the Maiden Host Club? Or maybe the cheerleading team? Oh, well, if you're in the cheer team, then you're gonna be with me! Uh, no, it's not even one of those. Oh, boo, that's no fun. <laughs> Good guesses, but we're joining the Coordinator Club. Looks really fun. Besides, Brendan and I just both adore Pokemon contests. Because they're from Hoenn, and that's where it started. We've both been watching contests since we were kids. The Coordinator Club is perfect for us. Hey, you guys are lucky! Which one are you going to join, Trez? I'm guessing the Photography Club? Yes, actually. They look quite fascinating, and I want to explore their most advanced photography equipment. And before the leave era, the Photography Club is Todd Snap. Mother and father let me never, never let me have my own in the house. Hmm. You know this school has a dance team or anything related to dancing? Um, according to the brochure, I don't think this school has a dance club. You mean this school doesn't have a dance club yet? Anyone can start their own club if they get enough members to sign up, yeah? I think I know what Tierno is up to. I read somewhere that you only need five members on board to get a club approved, and since there are more than five of us here... Don't tell me you seriously plan on starting a dance club. Well, how did you know? <laughs> you know, you also need a supervisor for that club. Know any teachers here who would actually approve of uh, a, a dance club? Uh, you know, or on high managed to get the uh, host club, you know, up and running, so... Uh, so without a sponsor, so uh, who knows? Maybe you can get the dance club up and running, I mean... Sure, who doesn't love dancing? Hey, Leaf, you want to be the first member? Uh, thanks, but no thanks. I'm going to join the Outdoors Club instead. It'll be nice to get off the school campus whenever I can. Oh man, suit yourself. I was waiting and looking at me like they're waiting for my input. Can't say I haven't been thinking about clubs, but I don't think it's really high on my priority list at the moment. Well, since sign-ups are next week, I should probably start thinking about a club I'd be interested in. Clubs, huh? Right now I'm leaning towards... Okay, so we've got, a, we've got six, which means I can actually use the D6 straight up. So, one, two, three, four, five, and six. Five would be interesting. Um, six definitely would be interesting. And six it is, battle team. Even though I know a certain someone is also interested in it, I'd feel like it'd be a really cool team to be a part of. Not to mention a chance to participate in the national tournament. I suck at battling. This is gonna be fun. The battle team. And it sounds a little scary, but it sounds looks like something I can really find myself invested in. I was thinking of joining too. Yeah, eventually. I think it's a little early to be thinking about that. Didn't you hear what Bruno and Alder said? I agree. We should listen to our teachers. Not to be able to be disparaging, but I think it's too far out of reach for new students like us. Hey, I think it's cool that Mewtwo is thinking of the battle team. More power to you, man! Yeah, and if Mewtwo wins the national tournament, wouldn't it be so cool to tell everyone he is our friend? Oh, you would be friends with that celebrity! Hey Mewtwo, make sure to get to the national tournament and win one for us, buddy. Mewtwo sure know how to inspire somebody. So do clubs meet every day or is it every other day? I believe that it depends on the club, but generally, club activities are held two to three times a week. Except Sunday. At least that's how it is for the photography club. It's the same for the outdoors club. They meet on Mondays and Thursdays after school, and on Saturday mornings. Attendance isn't mandatory, is it? I think it is. Oh, no, I'm terrified of commitments. That's good to hear. I'm sure attendance depends on the club as well. I think it's safe to say that joining a club requires serious commitment. I know that some of the more competitive and selective comp clubs have a very strict type tendons policy. You can always find out for sure later. We've still got a week to decide. But check it out! The line's standing out over at the seafood station. 
Wanna grab some of that basket, Shana? Yes, please! Sorry so much that we barely touched our food. We should clean this up before lunch is over. <laughs> I'm full. You know the rest of mine if you want, Brendan. Anyway, how are classes going so far, everyone? <laughs> Where do I even start? We listen to Leaf complain about school as we finish up our lunches. I've never played through this game or watched play, uh, completely watched a playthrough, so I have no idea what quote-unquote route I'm going to go through. Um, uh, obviously, I'm going to talk to Sabrina because I like Sabrina. Um, Leaf is also very tempting. I'm just going to kind of go with the flow and see what happens. As we get ready to move to our next class, I realize that this is the first time in a while where I had lunch with such a lively group of friends, at least in school. It's almost a shame I have to go to class, but I can't say I'm not anticipating my next class either. It's like I have my psychic type elective coming up. Alright, so this is where I'm going to uh, save the game, and uh, that'll end episode 5, so until next time, this has been Jeremy for Casual Mode. Keep it casual, y'all.